Hey YouTubers, I wanted to do a video on uh, on the snowblowers and uh, try and eliminate some of the confusion about how to use them. I've seen people ask, why does my snowblower ride up as it's going along and keep the front keeps riding up into a snowbank? Uh, that happens for two reasons, generally speaking. Uh, if you're using this on pavement, the uh, scraper blade really should be set to about one eighth of an inch or to whatever your manufacturer says to uh, have that set at. Uh, I see a lot of guys sort of raising that up and also raising up the, uh, the runners. Uh, I, I don't understand why they do that. Uh, if you raise it up too much, what's gonna happen is you're gonna leave snow behind and your tires are gonna ride on that snow and start losing traction. So, so that really should be set for about an eighth of an inch if you're, you're using this on, on pavement. If you're using it on uh, wood chips or <coughs> a stone driveway, that's another story. Follow the, follow the manufacturer's suggestions. But uh, uh, this machine is about, uh, I got about 10 years on it. Everybody, it's a 2003. And uh, these are the original runners and the original scraper blade. Now, uh, the scraper blade's meant to be down low. It's not meant to be up high. It's not supposed to be floating over it. Uh, so make sure those are set properly. That's the first thing you can do to uh, eliminate the, the snow blower from riding up into the snow bank and keep having the, the front housing keep riding up. The second thing is, I see guys that uh, just plow right into the uh, into the high snow and keep forcing it. If you're forcing it into the snowbank, it's going to ride up. That's naturally what it's going to do. Whether uh, it's with a tractor pushing something up, it's just the front is just going to go up. It can only take a certain amount of snow and eject a certain amount of snow. So you really have to uh, not force a lot of stuff in there. Uh, that's the second reason that uh, it'll start riding up. When you're going to try to go into deep snow, just don't keep advancing the drive. That's the reason it starts climbing up. The front end starts climbing up. Just feather it. Go about a foot, half a foot to a foot, and just then let up. Just keep feathering it. You go, you stop. You take a little bites out of the big pile of snow. Up. Little bites, just like that. It'll keep going. You don't want to bog it down. If you're riding up, you know you're going too fast. Put it in a, put it in a slower gear. You don't have to have it up here. You'll be running, chasing the damn thing. So put it in a lower gear. Take smaller bites. If it starts bogging down, let up on the drive. Simple as that. You'll see in the video that I'm gonna to link to this, you'll see me working this up and down. Okay, I don't just keep plowing into it. The snowblower should just move along on its own. It's with the traction of the uh, rear wheels, it should just move forward and it really should not ride up. So if it's riding up, you have one of those two things that are probably the cause. Uh, if you're still having trouble after that, uh, if your wheels are spinning, you need to get chains. You don't need tracks. It means the rubber is slipping. Uh, if you're going to get chains, get a two-link chain. Uh, don't get a four-link chain. A two-link chain <laughs> links every second link on the uh, outside ring going in the air. Chains work a lot better than uh, than tracks do. There's a show on TV called Highway from Hell, and they drive uh, and rescue trucks all throughout the Midwest, up in the Rockies, up in Canada. And uh, when they close the roads off, those trucks have to have chains on them. You don't see anybody up there trying to uh, tell them they uh, have to change over to tracks. 
the rubber just doesn't cut it when your tires are slipping you need chains and uh, I don't like the tracks I'd r rather have chains any day and uh, even when you see people with chains if they if they don't have a two link on there it'll spin and catch and spin and catch and spin and catch and that's the rubber slipping you don't see the chain slipping you see the rubber part slipping so chains are a must if your tires are slipping. Uh, I've tilted my snowblower up so you can see. Like these are the original runners. These are from 2003, so now we're in 2015. I haven't had to ch even flip them over yet. And I've always had this set properly. This is the original scraper blade. So I don't see why these guys are always so concerned about uh, wearing those parts out. I've never had a problem with them. I had done the uh, impeller modification. The two rubber pieces on the two impellers, I used 3 8 inch rubber from a truck mud flap. And uh, I used the thicker because I wanted to make sure that this thing didn't uh, really give too much. I didn't want it. I didn't want it bending as it came around. You know, I wanted to be stiff to be able to throw the snow. And uh, like I said, I'm linking this video to one I did with uh, the conversion, and you'll actually see it really throwing snow well. You'll actually see it going up hills with the chains and. Uh, I'm not having to do any pushing. I'm not lifting it up. It, it doesn't lift up on its own. It just tracks and goes right along. I don't really have any slipping to speak of with the uh, with the tires because they have the chains on them. So you can see that in the in the video that uh, I'm linking this to, and uh, you can also see how the uh, scraper blade is also closer to the ground and it it just moves right along there and it gets down low and uh, you don't see the tire slipping because I'm riding on top of uh, snow I left behind. When you're putting your snowblower away for the season, completely empty out the gas can. Empty it completely, then run the engine until it uh, completely runs out. Uh, and underneath here, underneath here, where the carburetor is, there's a button, and it should let out any fuel that's in there. Well, that's it for the uh, snowblower. I hope you liked the video, and hope you subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.